uh, Timbertop, which is uh, an exclusive school in Victoria, part of uh, Geelong Grammar. $84,000 a year, by the way, to send your kid uh, to Timbertop. They have a transgender student, so trans, uh, changing from Male boy to, to girl. Yep. Boy to girl. Uh, this girl slash boy has been put into a girl's dorm, so they're a boarder at Timbertop. The parents of the other girls in this dorm were not told that their child would be sleeping in the same room as a biological male. One father, when he found out, went so far as to get in his car, drive to Victoria, pick up his daughter and take her home because he was so outraged that he hadn't been alerted to this. There are two problems. One is that the school thinks it's OK to put someone with a penis in a room full of girls. I mean, there's an obvious reason that you have gender segregation when students are boarding. Two, the fact that they hid it from parents, that parents only found out because their children said to them, hang on a minute, there's a bloke in my dormitory room, is a disgrace. The school said, we believe a co-educational, inclusive boarding community will enable our students to leave as confident and resilient young adults strengthened in their capacity to develop meaningful relationships and well prepared for life beyond school. Whilst we cannot comment on specific students or circumstances, we can say that we are very open about being an inclusive community in supporting all of our students, including those identifying as LGBTQI+, so they are heard, respected and kept safe Ugh, in our care. The usual word, oh, Sally. Isn't, isn't that mm. great to hear? But surely you've got a problem when you're putting a biological male sleeping in the same room as a bunch of biological female. What I couldn't believe was that Herald Sun reported this father going to, and I quote, extreme lengths, like this was an extreme act for the dad to go and get his daughter and say, you're not sleeping in that dorm. The dad's not the... He's the normal one. Extreme is allowing students to choose their own gender, as Geelong Grammar apparently do. Extreme is not informing parents that your daughters will have a male in the dorm sleeping with them. Extreme is prioritising in your inclusion policy the safety and comfort of LGBTQ students while not caring at all for the safety and comfort of everybody else. The dad is put in that position because people like the South Australian Premier mm. and other Labor politicians and the Greens, let's not leave them out, won't act on this and so it's left to parents to have to... I guess parents should anyway, but you wouldn't think a dad would have to drive all that way having just found out this is mm. the situation my daughter has been allowed to be placed in. Any good dad would do the same. I Absolutely. mean, we've seen instances of women falling pregnant in all women jails because there was a few <laughs> trans women in the mix and oh, it turned out maybe they'd rechange their minds while they me. were behind bars. But I think the whole ploy of this, right, because it's not just Geelong who have done this. We've seen this done in the UK yes. as well. And, and schools do it in different ways and just spew out that, that same word salad, we're inclusive, we're inclusive. I think the idea here is, well, why would we bother mentioning it? It's perfectly mm -hmm. normal. It's so normal, in fact, it barely warrants a mention, doesn't it? In fact, you're the weird one for having a problem with something so perfectly normal. Yeah. It, that, that is the drive behind all this. So the school is just like, oh, no egg on our face. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't aware that you had a problem with inclusivity. That's exactly what's going on.